What's up, Dandelions? Welcome to another Inktober stream. I am Lulu Soul, and today's prompt was watch. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun with this one. This is another prompt that ended up completely different than I originally uh, thought it was going to. In the beginning, what I was going to do is I had this... Uh, there's a very specific pose that I keep coming across from Adorka Stock where the, the pose reference, the model is laying down and they're reading books. And I was going to do it as kind of like more of a story than as a pose reference. It was going to be kind of a just watch me and it was going to be a, a witch studying magic. And the whole concept was that someone had told her she wouldn't be able to become a witch and she's like, well, just, just watch me. And it was going to be very impactful and have a lot of really cool things in it. Um, and that's not what I ended up doing. <laughs> Thanks to the wonderful viewers in the stream I was doing, they just, they had a bunch of ideas and I loved like all of them. Like one person was like, hey, this makes me think of steampunk. And I'm like, well, I, I don't, I don't do steampunk that often. I could, I could do it as steampunk, which... And then someone else is like, I, I, I think of like a, the hold my beer, watch this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. And then the next thing I know, I'm scrolling down even more poses and I have found a perfect one. I think it was actually supposed to be a pose reference for a monster, but it ended up just like fitting what I wanted. So what we ended up doing is drawing a dark elf female, um, and it didn't end up being quite as steampunky as I had as I had hoped. I don't know very much about the steampunk genre itself, and the art of the steampunk world is usually extremely elaborate, and my art is usually not elaborate, so they don't tend to cross over very well. I, I did what I thought at the time was plenty of decorations, but looking back at it now, I probably could have added a few more a few more gears and knobs and futuristic things. She looks more like a fantasy world character that just happens to really like clocks. <laughs> but that's okay. I enjoyed making her a lot. Uh, I did struggle a little bit, though, because um, her anatomy is off. Even though I used the reference, and this is why, um, even though I did the trace over for my skeleton, this is one of the reasons, like, even if you trace someone else's art it, it might not necessarily look good not that I completely traced the model pose I didn't I used it as a skeleton however comma I, I still ended up getting some anatomy off around her waist and her back because of the way that that the character is turned and I think I managed to fix it enough to where it doesn't really bother me but it's still there it looks like she just has like extra bits somehow I don't know it's 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 a little off so I think that even though I really enjoyed making this piece and even though I'm really happy with how it turned out I think my dark elf girl is definitely going to go on the list of Inktober prompts that I draw again after Inktober to see if my skills have improved. And I'm okay with that. I, I liked a lot of this. I like the pose. I don't normally do tattoos and I added tattoos in her. I think I got my magic coming out of her hand a lot better this time than the last time I drew magic through Inktober. And all in all, like, I really liked the color schemes. I did not expect her hair to dull out. Her hair actually ends up really, really dull compared to how it was in the beginning. So with the finished piece, I actually went back and I brightened her hair back up again. So you'll see that in like the finished product, but you won't really see it in the time lapse itself. I don't know what type of beverage she is drinking or what type of container she is drinking out of, but... <laughs> It's definitely a nectar of some kind, a beer of some kind, an ambrosia, if you will. And I was, I've been trying, like, as I was making the art, I was trying to figure out, like, what is creating the conflict here? Because I don't want it, it's not a super serious thing. Like, she, she's upset, but she's not going for blood. Like, she's upset enough to summon her magic, but she's calm enough to remember, hey, I don't want to spill my beer. Here, hold my beer. Um, so I feel like what she's saying here is... 
hold my beer and watch my back, will you? And I just, I can only imagine that she is at the bar with her friends and somebody has insulted her waifu. This character is a huge fangirl of something. I don't know what yet, but she's a huge fangirl of something. And someone at the bar does not, does not agree. And that's just what happens. <laughs> and so the response was, watch, uh, hold my beer, watch my back. Well, I, I, I've got to take care of this. And I imagine this goes into like a tavern brawl type of a thing um, that probably doesn't end well for either party involved. But it is probably hilarious for her friend. And I imagine her friend does in fact hold her beer. But she's drinking from it. She's just, you know, there's no beer left at the end of the fight um, because her friend has just been slowly sipping on the beer, which I might get the chance to illustrate later on in Inktober. Who knows? But yeah, that's that is the whole scene I have playing in my head as the reason for the existence, the story behind this art. Every artwork has a story, and that's this one. Now, there is a dandelion in here, but it is much more difficult to find, I think, than they have been in the past. But if you do manage to find the dandelion, point it out in the YouTube comments or hop on into a stream with me. I usually stream on Twitch, 9.30 a.m., unless I stream on YouTube. And when I stream on YouTube, I usually give an announcement on Twitch the day before. But basically, anywhere on social media, if you can find me and you can point out where the dandelion is in the artwork, I will give you a shout out in my next video. So far, nobody has found the dandelions. I also have a Discord, Dandelion Fields, which is located in the description below. And starting here soon at the end of my streams, I will be showcasing any artwork that people post there. I think that'll be a lot of fun. That being said, I hope you have all had a wonderful day and will have a wonderful rest of your week. And if you didn't, and if you don't, that is okay too. Just remember that we're here for you. We love you. And I will see you dandelions tomorrow. Bye-bye.